video, we are going to quilt this photo quilt block. So I've got it all hooped up. I've got my backing and my batting in the middle and then my topper. And we are going to start designing on this, what we are going to We are going to start designing on this what we are going to embroider. So I have my little note as to what I've decided we're doing on this one. So on the first one, we did little flowers in the corner. So we'll talk about that here in a minute. But we're going to quilt the background on this one again. So I'm going to go to my design center. I am going to go under my leaf if these are hidden. Some of them are out here. I am going to go to image scan because I just want the background image so I can design over it. And I'm going to say scan and okay. Okay, so now here is my background image I'm going to design over. I can use my leaf or some of you have a flower to make this darker. So just look for something that has a slider and make it lighter, darker as you need to. Okay, so that looks about good for me to design with. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I am going to, since they are very pronounced in this one, I am going to quilt this whole background. So what we're going to do is I'm going to come here to my line properties. This top section of blocks is your line properties. We're going to use the little lightning bolt. We're going to say we want a double line. And I'm going to make it red so I can see it. And okay. All right, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to come up here. I'm going to zoom to 200%. And then I'm going to use my little sliders to slide around so I can see where I'm going. So there's a slider right here and a slider right here, just like on your computer. So I'm going to left click. Now, my first click needs to be outside of the square, but we're going a long way, so that's not really pertinent, but I just want to tell you that. And then I'm going to just start framing them out because I'm going to try to do fill in all of this space. So I'm creating a bowl to hold my fill. So I'm not going real close to the kids. I am just going a distance away from them because the the fill pattern, I don't want to go clear to their heads. Okay, so we're just going to do this. Okay, then I'm going to slide my slider bar over, connect it here to my end point. And that gives me a bowl. Okay, so now if I make this lighter, I can see my bowl. I'm going to zoom it back out to 100%. And see, I've got a bowl that's no breaks in the lines that I know is going to uh, look really nice. Okay, so on this one, I think what we'll do is we'll come. These are our fill properties. We can either come in through this page or through this picture. Some machines you can't go through the picture and some you can. The Luminaire and the Solaris you can. So I'm going to come in here and I can choose either stippling. That's a complete fill. So you wouldn't choose, choose that one. That's like the really dense fill stitch. So I could do stippling or I can choose a pattern. So I'm going to come in here. Since they're in a garden setting, lots of roses in the background. Maybe I, I could do roses on this. I could do the little grid here, number six. I could do lattice work. Let's see. Which one do we want to do? This flowery one is nice too. Let's see. I think I'm, this is the hardest part is choosing which fill to use because they're all so pretty. I think I may use this rose and say, okay. And we're going to try that one first and say, okay, use the paint bucket and touch in and see how that fills in all the background with roses. All right. So then what I'm going to do is I am going to come to next. All right. 
Now this will show me what the scale of my roses are. Those are pretty small, but I think they're going to be, have to be pretty small in order to, um, to be seen. Let's, let's just run it up to 200% and sh see what that looks like. And okay, and you can see the difference. See, that's just not enough roses, I don't think. So let's take that back down. Let's take it back down to like 125 and say, okay. All right, I actually like 125. So I'm gonna do that. And on this one, I think I'm actually going to probably stitch the outline um, just to kind of give the roses some lines on the outside edges. And I'm gonna do clear thread. I'm also going to come here and I think I'm going to make this a light thickness. If you have your machine, some machines have this, some don't. But if you have this button right here, this controls the thickness. Okay, so this one is going to go over it every time, at least two to three times. This one is going to only go over it one to two times as, you know, it's going to have to find its path, but that is a lighter stitch. Okay, so now what I can do is if I put it in the memory in this screen, it's going to save it on the line art side. It's going to sign it, save it on the embroidery side. If in this previous, in this, if I had saved it here, it's only going to save it in the line stitch side. If I save it here, it will save in both because you have two different memories, the line stitch where you design and the embroidery for the embroidery stitches, okay? So I'm gonna put that in the memory on my USB and I'm gonna set it and say, okay. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put in cream thread on the back because my backing is cream and I'm going to use the clear thread on the front. I like using the clear thread best on the photo blocks because then it doesn't interrupt with the picture per se. Okay, so I will uh, see you here in a minute after we've embroidered this out. Okay, so I just wanna talk you through this. So I'm gonna go to embroidery now, if I decide that I want to stitch just the outline, you see how this is just the, ro the roses, no outline? I'm gonna try to get my camera just so you don't have so many bad squiggles through it. But if I want to come here to my plus or minus, I can arrow through and I can stitch just the line or I can stitch just that. Or if I wanna stitch both, then I can say, okay. I can go to layout and I can click this thread and that will make it stitch all, everything from start to finish. So I think I'm going to leave that on and we're gonna get going. So at this point, I'm just going to come over here. I'm going to push my start key and we will start embroidering. How they're starting to puff here because we're tacking down all the edges around them and so now they're starting to puff in 3D. Oops. Do you see how they're puffing and look 3D? love this effect. I decided not to do the outline around them because I thought, oh, that's going to tie them down too much. So I turned off the thread and I just did the, the fill. I did not do the line around them because I thought it looked so cute the way it was. All right. So I'm going to re-hoop and then we're going to start quilting this outside edge again. Okay, so now I have hooped this up. Make sure that you have about an inch over here because um, you can't get too close to the frame. So make sure you've got that far enough away from the edge of your frame that you can quilt in this whole section right here. All right, so this part we've already designed. So I'm gonna come back here and actually I'm going to say, okay, and since I want to do something new in the square corners, we're gonna go do that real quick. So I'm gonna go back to my design center. I'm gonna to go to my leaf, 
I'm going to touch image scan. I'm going to scan this in so we can see what our background looks like and so we can design on top of it. That's what the image scan is for, is it just puts a picture on your screen that you can design on top of. Okay, so I'm going to darken this up so I can see it because my fabric is light. So now, instead of having flowers in every corner, I'm going to do a little different design. So I'm going to come up here to my line design. I'm going to choose my click tool my double line, I'm going to choose red so I can see it easily and say, okay. Now I'm going to come here and I'm going to left click, left click. I'm going to start creating my design. Okay. So I like that arrow like that. I want it to point straight at my, um, my center, but it looks like I got my point out too far. So I'm going to hit undo for that last one. And I'm going to make it end at the correct point, which is right about here. And I still don't like that. So I'm going to undo it, try to get that out straight there. That looks good. And then to break this off so that I can work on something else, I'm going to come choose, let's say the eyedropper. Okay. Now let's zoom in on this section. So I zoomed to 200%. I'm going to touch my hand and I'm going to drag this over so I can see this block right here. Okay. Now I'm going to click on that and nothing happened. I want to select this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the undo just in case I put a little point on and I didn't. So I'm going to hit the redo. Okay. Then I'll hit my eyedropper so it releases it again. All right. Now I want to select this so I can work with it. How do we do that? I'm going to come here to my selection tool. This dotted line is your selection tool. You can use the magic wand if you have it to touch it and it will select it. And put a box around it. Or you can use your square. If you've only got the square, you can plant your finger, draw a box around the whole thing and it will grab it. Okay. So now I am going to go into size because that's where my move buttons are. And I'm going to move that closer to the corner here get that more lined up right about there. And then I'm going to say, okay, now I want to duplicate it because I want this to come back further. I want this to be arrow, 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 arrow. Okay. So I'm going to hit duplicate and then I'm going to move it into place. So size, and then I'm going to move it up and over. I don't want them too close because I don't want my quilt to feel too stiff. So I'm going to do that. All right, then I'm going to say, okay. And then I'm going to duplicate it again, go into size, and I'm going to move it up and into place. Sometimes it's hard to see because the lines that you're not using get lighter. So I'm going to say, okay. And then I'm going to hit duplicate. We'll see how many times it lets us do this, lets me do this before it says that I'm out of bounds. All right. So I can say, okay. All right. Now, if I deselect that, like let's say I choose my dropper tool. Everything gets brighter again. Now I'm going to zoom back out so I can see where I'm at. So see, these are coming outside of my, my quilt square. So I want to get rid of some of those. How is the easiest way to do that? I'm going to come to my selection tool. I'm going to, let's see if it'll let me zoom back in. I'm going to bring my hand. I'm going to pull this way down so I can see the edges of my project. Okay. Then I'm going to choose my selection tool again. I want this to take out everything that's right here. So I'm going to take my box. I'm going to left click hold and I'm going to draw this box so that it grabs all these extra parts here. And I'm going to say, cut them out and see how that's disappeared now. And my, my design is how I want it. I'm going to come back to my square selection box. I'm going to start right here and I'm going to just drag this box up. I'm going to cut that out. Now you see how I've got these right here. So now I want to choose them one more time and I'm going to get them centered in my box, how I want it in my square here. So I'm going to come into size. 
And I'm going to just move them back up a little bit this way, get them centered in that box and say, okay. And I'm going to left click off and see now I have my second corner design that I wanted. Okay, so we're going to hit next. And I believe that I did the stitch length to be about 0 0.10. and say okay oh but here I did something bad I did not link these together so these are separate pieces okay so I'm going to undo what I just did all right because it only changed the stitch length on one of my little segments so I'm going to lock all of these together and see how the square went around all these separate pieces then I'm going to change these to the point this is so sensitive Okay, so now all of them have changed to the 0 0.10. All right, so I'm going to put this in the, oops. Okay, I want to show, show you something here. Cancel. Right here, I can see two little boxes. So I missed erasing some of this stuff. Okay, so we want to get rid of those. I hope you can see those. Use my hand. Pull this over. See, we can't see it on here, but they're there. So I'm going to hit return. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my eraser. I'm just going to come over along this edge and I'm just going to erase. And I'll say, okay, I'm going to click next. I'm going to link all of them together. I'm going to hit my over arrow and see, make sure that it doesn't find anything besides those four pieces. See, by hitting those arrows, the boxes are going around each of them one at a time. And so I can tell that I've gotten everything. All right. So I'm going to put this in the memory on the USB in this middle screen because it saves to the line side and the embroidery side here. Okay, so then I'm going to set it and say okay. And I am going to scan this now so we can add our other pieces. So I'm going to push my camera. I'm going to scan it, say okay. And it's going to scan this again because we created uh, the other pieces in, a, in the prior video. You need to watch these in the correct order because some parts we won't go over again. All right, so close. So that's still in the right place. So I'm gonna to come to edit. I'm gonna say, I want you to duplicate that. I'm gonna move this down here and I'm gonna rotate it so it's the right direction. Rotate 90 degrees and then I'm gonna move it into place. Now this is not scanning like it's in the right place. And sometimes that happens if you have designs saved on the actual machine, it doesn't scan quite right. Like I can see right here that there's a, a line in here. So we're gonna use our projector too and try to get this a little bit better. So I'm gonna say, okay. Then I'm gonna say, I wanna add from the pocket of the USB from the B pocket. I want this piece right here. I'm going to set it. Okay. Then I'm going to edit. I'm going to rotate. The rotate has the move buttons in it too, which is perfect. And I'm going to rotate it. I'm going to rotate it before it gets too close to the edge, because if I get too close to the edge and try to rotate it, it might tell me that it doesn't fit and say, I need a bigger hoop. So you got to be careful about rotating too. All right, so that looks pretty good. Oh, it needs to come down a little bit. So I used my finger to do the big move, and now I'm using my arrows to do the small move. Maybe that way just a little bit more. All right, that looks good. I'm gonna say, okay. Now, your projector is in the embroidery side, if you have the projector. Okay, so I'm gonna project this, and I'm gonna look and I'm going to see how this looks. Okay, so this is hard to, to show on video because it always looks like a rainbow, okay? So I'm gonna take my finger, I'm going to plant this here and I'm gonna drag it up to here because I wanna see if this piece is really in the wrong place or not because right now that looks in the wrong place. And 
it's projecting in the wrong place. So I'm going to move this up. I'm going to move it over. Okay, now here's the problem. By doing that, because I'm in this particular screen, it's moving everything as one big piece. So I'm going to say okay. And I am going to hit return. And I am going to undo the moves. Okay, because these were right. It's just this one piece. If you want to move one piece at a time, you have to come back to the screen that has the edit button. When you go into the embroidery side, everything is going to move as one piece. It's about positioning the entire piece. Okay, so if I hit return, now I can select this piece and I can move that one piece. So I'm going to move. That one looks good. That one looks good. So let's say, okay. And then let's go back to embroidery. And let's choose our projector again. And then when the little box appears, what you have to remember when you're using the projector is these buttons move the patterns. This square here, all that does is it gives you the area that this light is projecting on. So if I want to see if this is in place, I have to drag this box up here. So then I can look over here and see if it's in the right place. And it looks to be in the right place now. Okay. So let's check this bottom square. So I'm going to plant, plant my finger, drag this down here. Then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to look. And it looks to be in the right place. Okay. So I think we have gotten it placed as good as we're going to get it, and we are going to start stitching now. Now I am going to re-hoop. Since this side is all set up, I'm just gonna flip this around so that this side is on this side now. And then I will do the same thing of embroidering here and I'll show you how I position it. Okay, so I've got it re-hooped, so this side is ready to go. I'm going to come back over here now to my machine and zoom in. All right, so here we go. We're gonna say, okay, we want the same pattern, but we wanna scan it. So we're gonna scan this with our little camera, hit scan, say, okay. We're gonna let it scan this in so we can see how close we are. Okay, so now I did not hoop this exactly straight. So this is gonna be good because this will be a good lesson. So I'm gonna say close. Now, if I want this all to move as one piece and I can get this positioned all as one piece to fit, then this is the screen that I will do it in. I'll come into layout. I will do move. Nope, actually I'm gonna do rotate because then I'll have my rotate and my move on the same screen. So I'm going to bump this down here and over. You can hold it, but then it usually goes too far and then you have to undo it. But you see how this is close here and that's far away? So we're gonna rotate that. We're gonna try 10 degrees and see if that's too much. So let's do some one degrees and see what happens. There we go. 
All right, so I think that's too far now. So let's go back because what we have to look at is I was looking at the box around it, but we need to look at the lines that are actually in the pattern. And I think we still need to come down a little bit. So I'm looking at this line and it looks square. I'm looking at this line, it looks square. This one is a little skewed, this box that goes around it, because as we angle it, the box doesn't stay actually necessarily with this. So uh, we have to be careful that we're looking at the right thing. So I'm gonna say okay on this, and then I'm going to use my projector. And I am going to look at this, and I'm not gonna show you this again because I already did this quite well previously. So I'm just going to look at this myself and see how it looks. Come down here, see how this one looks. Check this, make sure it looks okay. So I think everything looks pretty good. So I'm gonna say, okay, I think we did it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to let it start embroidering. And then we will do the other two sides next. Okay, I have rehooped it so that this little piece here that isn't quilted is ready to go. So I am going to load this up and I am going to scan it one more time. So I'm going to say scan. Well, here, we gotta get rid of some of these pieces. Well, we'll let it scan it. It works for, for both screens. But we're gonna have it scan it, and then we'll have to go back to the edit screen because it won't let us break these pieces apart because this is the positioning screen. We can go back one screen, and that's where it has the edit, and then we can pull the pieces apart because we don't need the corner squares because we've only got the one middle left now. All right, so we're gonna hit return and see how you see the edit up here. So now we can delete this piece. So we're gonna delete this one and delete and okay. And then we are going to use the select tools to arrow over to this one. And we're going to delete it and say, okay. All right, now this one, we need to go to rotate. We're gonna move it and we are going to rotate it a little bit, maybe one degree, up a little bit, in a little bit. All right, maybe up just a smidgy more, maybe rotate it one more degree. I think that looks good, so we'll say okay. Then we're going to go to embroidery and I'm going to do a double check. I'm going to go to my projector and I'm just going to project it and make sure that everything looks like it's in the right spot. So I'm going to plant my finger, move this over here, move this down. Everything looks like it's in the right spot to me. So I'm going to say we're good to go and I'm going to let it embroider. together. I love how they look at 3D. Okay, so when this is done, I'm going to unhoop this and I'm going to flip this last little piece over to this side and do exactly what I did the last time. And then I'll show you the block when it's finished. Mm -hmm. 